You know Pickles and Tickles from Data Entry? Well, they just sent out this company-wide email uh, where they put their heads on a picture of two guys' bodies, and they look like they're, like, hugging and stuff, and they're not wearing shirt. You know, it, 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 it's supposed hey, to be... Hey, Bookie! Did you see the email that Pickles and Tickles sent? Yeah, I thought it was really kind of lame, and you know, to be honest with you, it was a little offensive to gay people. You know, just doing something gay to get a laugh. I mean, I'm not gay, but I'd find that offensive. Well, I find it hilarious. See you later. Ugh. Hmm. Hey, man. I just saw that email you sent out. You're making fun of tickles and pickles? Why did you do that? What do you mean, why did I do that? Yeah, it... I was making fun of them. I mean, you even said it yourself. Well, yeah, they, they deserve to be made fun of, but, you know, why'd you make fun of them? I, I just, I don't know. I, you know, everybody around the office is now talking, and, you know, they, they're not, you're not too popular with them, I'll, I'll tell you that. Look, all I sent was an email saying, Hey, everybody, I can't come up with a joke, so could you help me out? Oh, wait, I know, I'll just do something gay. You know, it was sarcastic. It wasn't directed at anybody. Yeah, well, you know, Tickles and Pickles are pretty upset about it now. Well, you know, I didn't s specifically target them, but yeah, they were guilty of, you know, what I was making fun of. But, you know, I mean, they had it coming. I mean, you said it yourself. <clears throat> yeah, well, um, they need to see you in HR. Are you serious? <sighs> All right, well, you're coming with me, right? <laughs> um, I got, got to go back and, and, and do, uh, yeah, my, my job. Which which is a real thing around here. <sighs> well, I'd like to thank y'all for being here today, Bookie, a Tickles, a Pickles. Uh, we're going to talk about some emails that were sent around. And, uh, you know, uh, and uh, specifically yours, Bookie, uh, because it seems to have hurt the feelings of uh, Tickles and Pickles here. What do you mean hurt their feelings? They're grown dogs. It, look, <laughs> they sent out an offensive email first. I was just making fun of them. I mean, come on, I, I can't do that. <laughs> what we sent out was harmless fun. What you did was hateful and mean. Hateful and mean. <laughs> All I did was send out an email that poked a little fun at people who send out gay pictures in order to get a cheap laugh. They do it for the shock humor of it. It's really lame, and a lot of people do it, and I'm sick of seeing it. And no, it was not directed at any specific person. Uh, yes, they are guilty of doing this, and I don't feel bad for it either. It's it's lame. Uh, well... Okay, well, um, let me take a look at both, both the emails. Let me see. We got the first one from Tickles and Pickles. Mm, okay, I never want to see that again in my life. Okay. And we got this, this one from you. Mm-hmm. I, I see this is very sarcastic. You know, Bookie, you don't win many friends with sarcasm, you know? Um, but, uh, I have to tell you, I'm on the side of Tickles and Pickles on this one. What? Yeah, you see, um, I'm not the only one here. Let's see, we got several people that have complained about this. Let's see, there's a weenie. Well, weenie just sucks overall, okay? You, you don't want to take his opinion. All right, we got, uh, we got Burp, who also complained. Burp just wants to be a part of the conversation so he can get his, be on the side of the thing that is popular. He's, he's just, he's, he's, he sucks. All right, we also got Henrietta. All right, in all fairness, we used to date, okay? Well, regardless, Bookie, um, it was a very mean-spirited thing that you did, um, and uh, I think the right thing to do would be to, you know, give Tickles and Pickles an apology. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Is there is there no one else who sees what I'm doing? I made pe fun of people that were going for a cheap laugh at the expense of Gay people. Come on. Uh, okay, uh, you see, you keep saying that, but unless I hear from a gay person that it's offensive, I, I can't see how it's offensive to, you know, gay people. What? That's ridiculous. 
That's like saying, I don't know whether a joke about a pit bull is racist unless there's a pit bull around to tell me that it's racist. Oh, oh see, look, he's got to bring pit bulls into this. Hey, Pickles and Tickles. I, um, well, I came by because I just wanted to tell you that, you know, even though we both disagree on, you know, what's funny and what's not, and I just wanted to tell you that you guys wanted to make people laugh, and deep down I can respect that. Uh, so, if we can just let bygones be bygones, and, uh, you know, let's not be bitter toward each other. Nip, nip, screw you, boogie. Huh, oh, wow, so he wanted to make you apologize. Wow. Well, hmm. Yeah, and by the way, thanks for having my back back there. I appreciate it. Well, you know, I mean, although I do agree they deserve to be made fun of, I didn't want to get involved. Hey, did you hear? Uh, Tickles and Pickles quit this morning. Yeah, it just turns out they quit, and uh, nobody will ever remember them.